Oh my god, will you just shut up? It's not my fault the hotel f***ed up our reservation. <laughs> you could have fooled me. With the way you've been complaining, it sure seems like you're blaming me for the whole thing. If you'd let me get a word in, you'd know I had nothing to do with this. Do you really think I'd want to spend the next two nights trapped in this room with you? Well, I don't, okay? I already have to deal with you during the conference. Any time beyond that is torture. <laughs> hey, I'm just being honest. You've known me for years, and I'm not one to sugarcoat anything, am I? Exactly. I never have, and I probably never will. It's not like it would do us any favors, so there's no point in trying to soften things. You deserve to know that being here with you is what I would consider my own version of hell. Oh, look at how red you're getting. Left eye twitching, jaw tense. Am I bothering you? Good. You know I live to push your buttons, and you make it so damn easy to. All I have to say is one word, and you're ready for a fight. <laughs> I wish you could see yourself right now. You may think you look intimidating, but you look more like an angry kitten. It's adorable. <laughs> Clare at me all you want. Call me whatever awful, vile name you have. Shove me if you dare. See if I care. <laughs> Did you seriously just call me that? In four different languages. You know, I'd actually be impressed if I wasn't so pissed off. You really are unbelievable. You know that? Just when I thought you couldn't get any more annoying, you have to go and prove me wrong. <sighs> Hello? My apologies, I didn't realize it was nearing that time. Rest assured, me and my colleague will be there shortly. Thank you for the reminder. <sighs> that was one of the coordinators for the conference. We're needed for the welcome brunch, which starts in ten minutes, and after that, we'll attend our first session. <sighs> we could argue about this till we're blue in the face, but we don't have time. If we don't show up soon, looking ecstatic to be here, then word will spread to Astrid. We both know she won't hesitate to chew us out in front of the entire team come Monday. Look, I'm not happy about this situation, but I can at least be an adult about it. Can you? Perfect. Before we go, I have one thing to say. Do not spill your coffee on me today. Of course I have to bring it up. It wouldn't be such a big deal if it only happened once, but it seems to happen every time we have an important meeting. Your entire beverage ends up all over me. I don't know if that's because you're clumsy or if you're purposely trying to embarrass me. It's the latter. Just like I thought. Sorry to burst your bubble, but I have extra shirts with me. Your plan isn't going to work this time. How many shirts do I have? Please, like I'm going to answer that. You're going to find out on your own? <laughs> Good luck. Be my guest. <laughs> Is that a threat or a promise, darling? Both? Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what you have in store for me. <sighs> If I thought you were adorable earlier, it's nothing compared to now. Just look at you. Your cheeks are flushed again. Pupils, they're dilated. You're even beginning to shake. I'm starting to wonder if there's a different reason why you're always ruining my shirts. Maybe you like the way I look when the material's wet. Or maybe you're hoping to catch me one of these days while I change. I bet you'd play it off as an accident, too. One of those, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to, 
moments, but I'd know better. I'd smirk at you, and you'd attempt to avert your gaze, but secretly, you'd want to shamelessly stare, probably biting your lip to keep yourself from releasing a whimper. In your hands, they'd clench right beside you, desperately wanting to reach out to touch me. The funny thing is, I wouldn't even blame you. When people see me under all the layers, they're hardly disappointed. I haven't gotten any complaints so far. I may be an arrogant asshole, but you know I'm right. The more you deny it, the more amusing it gets. I can see right through you, darling. <clears throat> As much as I'd like to stay here and push more of your buttons, we really do need to leave. For the sake of the conference, let's call a truce, okay? Temporarily, of course. Yes, I'll agree to those terms. As long as we're in front of other people, we're two friendly colleagues. But as soon as we're behind closed doors, we can go back to being our normal selves. Wow. For once, it looks like we agreed on something. I guess miracles really do happen after all. Come on. Let's get out of here. Could you let me in? I forgot my room key when I stepped out earlier. Ah. <sighs> What are you, a kindergarten teacher who's trying to teach manners? I'm not a child, you know. Ugh, fine. It's been a long day between the sessions that lasted forever and our giant knockout drag-down fight because you spilled coffee over three of my shirts. I'm exhausted, so the last thing I want to do is stand here and argue with you some more. I'll give you the win. This time. Will you please let me in? Oh, finally. Took you long enough, I swear. You were put on this planet to drive me... Uh... What are you wearing? That's what you're wearing to bed? I... No, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. You just caught me off guard. I thought you'd have a set of pajamas in some shade of blue, since that's practically the only color you wear. I mean... No, I haven't been picturing you in sleepwear. Get over yourself. That's where you're wrong. I do not think about you at night, much less imagine what you'd be wearing. <laughs> and you say I'm the arrogant one? That's rich, coming from you. All right, I agree. My initial phrasing could have been better, but like I said, I was just caught off guard. You're normally so predictable. Prim, proper, clothes buttoned, pressed. Not a single wrinkle. Given the way that you present yourself, is it really that strange to think that you'd be dressed in something as equally uptight? See, even you agree, but there you go again, proving me wrong. You're wearing that, which is a lot shorter and sheerer than I would have expected. And it's red. Nothing. It's nothing. Forget it. It's not important. Ugh. You're not going to let this go, are you? Didn't think so. Fine, don't say I didn't warn you. Red is my favorite color, and you look really good in it, okay? No, I'm not saying this to get under your skin. It's true. Whether you choose to believe it or not is up to you. Sure, whatever. Take the win for getting me flustered. I don't care. Just so you know, I don't usually sleep with a shirt on. And since you're wearing something comfortable, 
It's only fair that I'm comfortable too, right? I hope you don't mind. Not at all. That's good. You have your back to me, but I know you want to look over your shoulder to sneak a peek. What was that? Did I just hear an adorable little squeak? Ah, it was just my imagination. Nice try, but I don't think so. My hearing happens to be very good. All right, go ahead. You can turn back around now. <laughs> I think I've made you speechless. Honestly, this is probably the biggest accomplishment in my life. I never thought I'd see the day where you wouldn't have an immediate insult or name to throw at me. All right. I guess I deserve that one. What? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> yeah, I guess we did agree again, but don't get used to it. <sighs> I don't know about you, but I think I'm ready for bed. But the way I'm feeling right now, I could sleep for days. You too, huh? Yet another thing we're seeing eye to eye on. We're kind of on a roll. Yeah, yeah, all good things must come to an end. By the morning, I'm sure we'll be back to disagreeing over the smallest, dumbest things. <laughs> but honestly, would you have it any other way? Wait, why are you getting on the couch? No, you're not. There's no way I'm letting you sleep on that thing. It's not a suitable substitute for a bed. Judging by its design, it'll hurt your back, your neck. It's not even long enough for your legs. You won't get any sleep because you'd be uncomfortable. Knowing you, if you don't get at least eight uninterrupted hours, you'll wake up in a foul mood and everyone around you will have to pay the price. It's true. You're not exactly a ray of sunshine when you're not storming into the office on one of those mornings. That's how coffee spill number four and number five happened, remember? Yeah, of course I keep track of them. It's a force of habit at this point. Which, by the way, you're up to 13 now, and that includes today's three. <sighs> Whatever, I don't want to get into that. Look, we'll share the bed. It'll be fine. For once, could you not go off on me? I'm too tired for this. We're both adults. Let's just handle it like adults. Great. Now, will you claim a side of the bed? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you good? Good. Can I turn off the lamp now? Awesome. Try to get some sleep so you're not completely unbearable in the morning, all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck you too. Night. <sighs> Come on. Ah. <sighs> I can feel you moving around. You haven't been able to settle down for the past half hour. What's wrong? Yeah, I can turn on the light. Give me a second. Better? Good. Do you want to talk about it? You seem surprised that I'd be willing to listen. I know I can be an asshole, but I'm not heartless. <laughs> That's fair. I'll give you that one. Look, if something's bothering you, you should have the space to talk about it if you want to. So do you? Yeah, go ahead then. I'm all ears. You're worried about tomorrow. Why is that? Ah, there's a pretty detailed report for the Board of Investors, huh? 
you're not sure how they're going to take it. I get why you're feeling nervous. We have a lot riding on this, and Astrid's counting on good news. What I don't understand is why you think you're going to mess this up. Oh, come on. Don't give me that excuse. It is an excuse, though. You created those reports so you know them front and back. You've memorized every detail right down to the last digit. There's no way you're going to miss anything. Plus, you're an amazing speaker. You deliver the information and everyone will hang off every word like they always do. And even if the investors have questions, you'll answer them without any problems because you're brilliant at thinking on your feet. <sighs> Your presentation will be perfect. Stop worrying. You've got that deer caught in the headlights look again. Was it something I said? <laughs> in any of my insults to you, have I ever commented on your ability to do your job? Exactly. That's because I never wanted or needed to. It would be one thing if you were a terrible employee. If that were the case, then I would freely insult you. But you're the furthest thing from terrible. You're ridiculously talented. And I don't say that lightly. Our company has a ton of talented people, and it's part of the reason why we're on the Fortune 500. It takes all of us to make the company run like it does, but you... You're one of the very best. Astrid knows it, too. That's probably why you're going to get a promotion before me. How could I possibly know that? About six months ago, each department's director had a private meeting with her. Do you remember that? Yeah, well, when we had to tell her who we'd recommend for a promotion, during my meeting, I kind of mentioned your name. You heard correctly. I told her that you should be the next one. Admittedly, she was taken back by my answer, since she knows about our... interesting relationship. But after my convincing argument, she smiled and said she'd heavily consider it. Why would I do such a thing? <laughs> Look, our relationship is tempestuous for sure, but it should be obvious. <sighs> I did it because out of everyone, you're the one who deserves it. Day in, day out, you're at the office working. You give up your nights, your weekends, just to make sure that things go smoothly. That, in of itself, deserves recognition, and you deserve all of the praise and glory that comes with the promotion. Plus, with a promotion, you'll have the power to take things even further with the company, and that's what's needed. I know you have the ability to raise our spot on the list. Hell, with you, we could probably even get top 100. You don't have to thank me, I'm just telling you the truth. Nope. There's no other reason why I chose you. I thought about the needs of the company and did what I thought was best. Why are you insisting that there's more to it than that? There's not. <laughs> Please. I wouldn't recommend you for a promotion because of a soft spot. That would hardly be professional. I... I didn't say soft spot. Why would I say something like that? I I think your exhaustion is starting to get to you because you're clearly making things up. You have excellent hearing, too. Damn. Really thought I could get away with that. Fine. Maybe I do have a soft spot for you, okay? Stop smirking at me like that. It's not like I've had it out to get you since the day I met you. When you first showed up to office in your pressed button up, not a single hair out of place holding your 16 ounce iced coffee, I wanted to scream. You were just so put together and perfect that it irritated the hell out of me. Then you spilled your coffee on me when we ran into each other, and it wouldn't have bothered me that much, but you had the audacity to laugh at me. I knew from that day onward that you had the ability to just drive me insane, and you have every single day. 
You can't even imagine how many times I've almost cursed or yelled in the office because of something you said or did. And to add insult to injury, you just have to be the most attractive person I've ever met. <laughs> Don't be coy with me. Surely by now you've noticed the way my eyes follow you. How could you not? You turn heads when you walk into the room, and you always have. Do you know how hard it's been to keep my hands to myself? God, I can't even count the number of times I've wanted to back you up against the wall. Especially when we fight. I'd shut up that dumb mouth of yours by kissing you all over. First on your lips, and then on your neck. And finally, that little spot right behind your ear that would just make you shiver. And your desk? <laughs> oh, the things we could do on top of it, underneath it, beside it. Lust is one thing. If it was just that by itself, I could deal with it. But what I feel for you, it's so much more than that. You want to know what I feel? I like you. A lot. Too much, probably. But I know I have a funny way of showing it. Normal people don't pick fights with the one that they care about, but fighting with you is easy. It's effortless. It's comfortable. Being open about my feelings is much more difficult. I'd have a hard time with it anyway, but it's even worse because we work together. I know. You're right. I should have been honest from the beginning. Probably would have saved me some trouble in the long run. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Why are you sorry? You fought with me for the same reason? Because it was easier for you too, and you didn't want to acknowledge that you'd developed feelings for me? Let me get this straight. I like you, and you like me. And we've been dancing around each other for years because we're too afraid to cross the line into new territory? <laughs> you know, for two smart people, we really can be idiots, can't we? <laughs> now that everything's out in the open, what does this mean? Fuck, I had no idea that kissing you would be like this. I've imagined it a million times by now, but nothing can compare to the real thing. I, I don't even have words right now. Uh, okay, you win. You've made me speechless. Congratulations. Now come here. Look, I don't want to kill the mood, but shouldn't we, um, talk about this? You want to talk tomorrow? Yeah, that sounds good. We can skip the dinner they've got planned. It's just a formality anyway, and I've heard the food's not even going to be good. How about we go someplace else? Perfect. In the meantime, we've got this nice, gigantic bed. And it'd be a real shame if we didn't put it to use, right? <laughs> I'm glad you agree. Your outfit has been driving me out of my mind. You knew exactly what you were doing when you put it on, didn't you? Thought so. Well, mission accomplished. I want you. Right now. On one condition, and what might that be? Nope. Nuh-uh. I'm not telling you how many shirts I've got packed. You're just going to spill coffee on them anyways. Oh yeah? You're just going to find out on your own then? <laughs> Bring it on, darling. <laughs>